Do you want a realistic VHS filter that looks like this? Well, stick around and I'll show you how. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I see you're here for the tutorial. Now, this tutorial goes over the proper way to do a VHS effect. It's not like one of those After Effects tutorials where it's like, oh yeah, split the RGB a little bit and add like a, a tape roll. No, 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 no. Firstly, what you want to do is you want to drag your footage in to any video editor you want. What we want to do is we want to set our properties to one that is 4x3. So 640 by 480 will do for now. Now you will see that it hasn't updated. That's because we need to do the same thing to our footage. Just like this. What we want to do now is we want to render this out. Now this can be any video format because we are going to put this into After Effects. We're going to put this video into the After Effects VHS folder and we're just going to call it like flowers because that's what the video is. And all you do is just render it out. As you can see the video rests safely in the After Effects folder. Here it is here. So now what we want to do is we want to open up the realistic VHS effect After Effects project and then after that we'll get to work. Now that we're in here, you may see that I have this. This is because I was working on something before. Now, all we have to do here is, if you've got the footage here, it may come up with a test bar or something. All you have to do is right click it, click on replace footage and file, and then locate the file before. So that's flowers. And if you have it set to 640 by 480, then it should automatically adjust. And this here, int, stands for interlaced, so that the video is interlaced. We can double check it because on the last frame we should have these lines. As you can see we've got already a pretty good filter. Just remember to trim the comp to whatever your footage is. And then once you're done just add to render queue and then render it out. But remember to render it out to the FFmpeg folder in bin and remember to call it input. Go into the FFmpeg folder where you can see input the AVI sits safely in there. Now if you're a Ubuntu user, you're going to have to install Ubuntu and copy paste this code into Ubuntu by right clicking and clicking open Ubuntu here. Now I don't have it because my Windows version is too old, but I'm using PowerShell and I have a PowerShell code for that. So shift right click for PowerShell and click on open PowerShell window here. And all we have to do now is just copy paste the code. Ta-da! We're nearly done! Now as you can see, it's already looking kind of good. But there's one final step. But first, we have to re-render the footage into an AVI format so that AVI synth can run. Now there is a way for me to change it so that I can make it run MP4 format, but uh, I'm keeping this tutorial pretty user friendly, so I won't go into that much detail. So once you think you're ready, render it into AVI synth VHS and the script folder. And then just replace input.avi if it's in there. So when you're ready and you're in the AVI synth script folder, all you have to do is click on effect.avs and scroll down and open with virtual dub. And once it's up here, just click the play button. The video will render out and it should be done in 3, 2, 1. See? That easy. Now, if you have XBID installed, go to compression and click on XBID. Now you can change around with the target bitrate, I usually keep mine around 10k. And then, just click on save as AVI and you can save it at any place you want. And there you have it, a simple yet easy to use VHS filter that anyone can use. Now you don't have to follow the steps exactly as I did it. You can play around, mess around with some effects, just find one you like. But I kind of think the one I made was pretty good. If you like this video, maybe consider subscribing with this video that shows you to subscribe because I don't want to say it. But anyways, that's all for today and I'll see you all in the next video.